I thought Nano Banana was crazy, but now we have Sea Dream 4.0 by ByteDance, the creators of TikTok. And as I'm filming this video, Google's Gemini app has taken the number one spot in the App Store, dethroning ChatGPT, most likely because of their image model. And in this video, we're going to put both models head to head for some popular use cases, including AI UGC. I'm also going to show you how to easily take this model into N8N to create some amazing workflows. So we're going to be running all these demos on key AI. They allow for both a playground and an API that's extremely cheap. As you can see here, we're roughly paying less than two cents per generation for Seadream 4. And for Nano Bananas API and Playground, we'll be paying two cents. This is significantly cheaper than a lot of the other options. So as you can see on the top right here, we're using the edit version and we're also going to be doing this on Nano Banana. That will allow us to provide a source image. So below we have the prompt. I just put a simple one of 18 year old man holding cereal box in the kitchen, a fancy house. Then we scroll down. There's an image of a magic spoon cereal box, which is just a product I took from Google. I downloaded that. And down here you can see you can control the image size. We can do portrait, landscape, square, whatever we want. And then the image resolution, we can pump that all the way up to 4K. And then when that's good, we're gonna hit run. And jumping to the nano banana side, we're gonna give it the same exact prompt, the same image, PNG output. We're gonna also use the portrait resolution. We're gonna hit run here, and then we're gonna compare the two results. Okay, and here we have the results. I uploaded them to this document. And as you can see on the left, we have Sea Dream, And then on the right, we have the output for nano banana. Uh, personally, I think for this one, I like the Sea Dream one a bit more. It just looks a little bit more high quality and there's a little bit more details to the background and the character that I was looking for. The one big difference, I guess, is that in this one, it looks like it's about two times in both dimensions, a little bit too big. He's carrying something that's almost the size of his entire body. Whereas the Nano Banana one, I think did a great job of making the cereal box a more realistic size. But in terms of the background and everything, it just looks a lot more plain. And I personally think even though this one is bigger, it would do better as an advertisement. Speaking of advertisements, if you're a creator, a marketer, or a business owner, you're going to want to check out my school at school.com slash Adrian. I just made a new promotional video. Make sure to check that out. Anyways, we're at 1.5K members. The cost right now is $25 a month, but you can save over 50% if you do lifetime. I'm currently working on my first course, which is gonna be exclusive to the group. That's called the AI Creative Agency, where we show you how you can use the technology like Sea Dream, Nano Banana, VO3, all that to create online advertisements that you can sell to people today to make money online. So if you're in the marketing space or you love playing with AI tools and you want to make money doing it, make sure to join the community today before the price goes up. Okay, and now for the second test, what we're gonna do is scroll down here and switch it from portrait to landscape. Gonna hit run here. Then we're gonna go to the nano banana side, turn this to landscape as well, run both, and then I'll compare the results. Okay, and now we have both the results on the left, Sea Dream, and on the right, Nano Banana. As you can see, the background looks very similar to the portrait ones. One little bit of hallucination I see here on Sea Dream's side is that it kind of has this protein stuff that may have been on the cereal box on the wall. This is definitely not good. I mean, it would be easy to crop out, but I would definitely consider it a mistake. And then going over to the nano banana side, I mean, there is two ovens like this, which is a little bit weird, but I guess it could be possible. You can see the idea of a fancy house in nano banana is this like super minimalistic, like not really look like it's used in versus this looks like a lot more of a realistic setup. You can see both the people look pretty good. The box, the proportions are still a little bit better on nano banana, and it's a little bit wider than I think you'd expect here. And my conclusion for this test is similar to the one before. If you want the product looking identical to the source image and dimensions and whatnot, then I'd probably go with Nano Banana. If you want something where the entire environment looks a little bit more welcoming, I think the Sea Dream result is a little bit better. And I also think the upscaling on the Sea Dream is really nice compared to Nano Banana, where you can see it's definitely still a little bit grainy. Okay, and for this next test, I went to Forever 21. I clicked on the first dress, and we're going to be taking this image right here, giving it to the AI models, and then having it generate an image from the back. 
So hopefully it'll look something like this. So I thought this would be a great test because it shows character consistency as well as a use case that would be very obvious in e-commerce. So I gave it this very simple prompt to give me a product shot of this dress from the back. And now I'm sending it off to Seadream. Now I'm going to go to Nano Banana with the same exact prompt and URL. These are both going to be in portrait. I'm going to hit run and then I'm going to compare both the results. Okay, and here we have the results. Over here we have the photo of the front and the photo of the back. We gave it the photo of the front. Seadream generated this one right here. As you can see, the head is tilted a little bit. You could probably just manage that by giving a more strict prompt. And then the Nano Banana result that looks nearly identical to the actual last photo. So you'll see a few little changes where this back area of fabric right here looks a bit more like the real one compared to this. Granted, it was only given this as the front image, so it can only do as good as it can. And then the other thing I noticed that's a little bit of a difference is the generation of the heels. This is what the heels were supposed to look like. They look a little bit different on the Sea Dream versus Nano Banana does an extremely good job of making it very similar to the real photo. All in all, I think both images are super impressive, but I would probably have to give this to Nano Banana based on the fact that there's more similarities based on the real photo here and here than Seadrim, but you can't really blame Seadrim for generating stuff that wasn't even in vision. Okay, and now for the third test, what we're gonna do is give it this image that I found right here. And for reference, I took this from Athletic Green's Facebook ad library, meaning they're using this exact creative as an ad right now on Facebook. When I did save it, it was a little bit blurry, so keep that in mind. And I'm gonna be giving it the prompt to change the text, quotes, I take this every morning, quotes, into quotes, I love Sea Dream, quotes. Or in the case of Nano Banana, I just switched the word to Nano Banana in the same style with the magnet letters. So ideally, it's just gonna take these magnets and switch them to different text, and we'll see how well both models can handle this. Okay, and here we have the results. We have the Sea Dream result right here, and then we have the Nano Banana result right here. As you can see, the text says, I love Nano Banana, I love Sea Dream. They both look like the very similar magnets to the source image right here. And then on the bottom, everything else is unchanged. I think they're both nearly identical. Obviously, Sea Dream does this little bit of upscaling that makes it look a little bit better. Uh, but Nano Bananas looks, you know, the same quality as the source image that I gave it. My only one thing I have to say is I took this as the second result. The first result for Sea Dream, it messed up one of the letters. And then this was the first result for Nano Banana. However, I was curious, so I ran the Nano Banana one one more time, and it did make a mistake. So I can't be absolutely certain which one is going to have the least errors when it comes to changing text. But they both seem to be very, very consistent with each other. All right, now we're back and we're in NADN and I'm gonna show you how to use the C-Dream model in an automated way using NADN. So here we have this basic template that I provided in a previous video using Nano Banana. I switched out that HTTP request with a new one that I created extremely fast. And basically what this is doing right now is it's generating people aged one through 100 holding this product image right here, which is just a Stanley cup and it's super simple. So I'm gonna have this template linked in the description. All you're gonna to have to do is hit the three dots, import from file, upload this template, and you should be good to go. You can either wire it up to Nano Banana or Sea Dream, and it'll be making your images based on that. It's essentially a simple loop, and I'm gonna open right here. All you're gonna to have to do is connect your key AI credentials. I have plenty of videos covering how to do this. It's extremely simple. And then over here, we have the prompt with the X year old. And then we have the image URL that's supplied from over there. We're doing the resolution of 4K and then portrait, which is nine by 16. It's kind of weird how they set this up. It's a little bit of a mistake, but we can go to the documentation right here. I'll have the link in the description. This is exactly what you're gonna be sending. You can just copy this. Also, if you wanna do it manually and hit import curl, and it should be good to go. Also keep in mind, you're gonna to need to connect your Google Drive here. And once you do all that, it should basically loop over and over and generate you all the people. 
keep in mind this is just a proof of concept you can take this little node right here put it into your own application and send key whatever requests you want keep in mind also right here I put the wait up to 80 seconds because it takes a little bit while longer than nano banana but just for fun I'm going to be showing you the results of the people compared to the nano banana video and if you haven't watched that I highly recommend you do so Okay, as you see here, we have the old folder of Nano Banana. We have all the way from one to 100. And then here on C Dream, I stopped it at 12, but we have 12 generations. And then I decided to line them up on this little document right here. So you can see age one, this is the example that C Dream gives. This is the example that Nano Banana gives. And then moving on to age five, you can see this is the example. And obviously the biggest difference is when not prompted for, there's not a background on C Dream, but there is on Nano Banana. But you can see the quality of the characters are pretty similar between the two. And then we have age 10. And you can see here's the first double handle. We didn't get that yet on C Dream. But overall, they're both extremely impressive models. And if Nano Banana didn't come out right before C Dream, I think there would be a huge spotlight on C Dream. And the only major thing I have to say is OpenAI really has to step up their game. Both these models are destroying them. And they're going to need an update soon, especially if they want to keep this consumer market share. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.